Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Cleo and this is Cars and Bras YouTube channel. So if you guys recently saw my last video whereby I fitted the roof tent, uh, I also then tried out in my back garden because we're still in lockdown period. Now actually I've gone out and bought some more accessories for the actual camp setup. So today I'm actually going to put all this stuff on, um, have a little look and see what it's like and if I need to purchase any more stuff. So basically once lockdown period is finished, I can just know I've got everything together, ready to go and then we can go and have a bit of fun I guess really. So a few bits that I've actually purchased. So I've got a direct 4x4 shower curtain and obviously that's going to be the shower setup that I've got along with a footboard to stand on and then of course we've got the actual shower arm attachment from front runner. I've actually had that shower set up for quite a while so the idea is that you fill one bag up with water that metal coil will be sat on a fire pit which will then heat the water up and then it will go into the second bag and then you attach the shower head attachment onto it. So that's the shower setup we're going to be using. Again, I've had that before, but I didn't have a proper shower tent or shower arm to use to actually hang that up properly before I just used a totally separate tent. So now we're going to have everything attached to the Land Rover. So we've got the shower, the arm that's going to be attached to the roof rack to hang off the shower and then of course I've got the direct 4x4 shower tent which is also going to be attached to that roof rack so you can just totally take that all out but I'm going to show you that setup once that's all been put up then of course I've got the this black covered awning here that was actually fitted to the car originally but I had to take it off in able to fit the roof tent so I'm going to fit this back on again two more sides to go on that so one for the front and one for the side or two for the side whichever way we're going to use it again that's from direct 4x4 I think that was an over overtrek one I'll have to double check that and that's the old shower attachment I don't know why that's actually out probably should have not bought that out I don't know it's just a bucket shower thing that you fill up with hot water yeah, so that's kind of everything we're going to be doing today. Oh, also as well, I just got through it in there. I um, also bought, again, from Direct 4x4, just bought some of these. So, you know, if we ever get stuck in mud, uh, just got some plastic support so we can drive the tyres onto. Yeah, so let's see how we get all of this fitted onto the Defender 90. Hopefully it should be pretty simple. It's not a big job today. Just sort of a little bit of fun. Okay, so first things first, we're going to be fitting the shower curtain. So we obviously have to keep the ladder down just to make sure that it doesn't sit underneath. We're going to try and work it out and sort of see how much I can get across to make sure the ladder's not going to sit on top of the curtain once it's down. We'll see. I'm probably going to have to pull that right back. So I've got my brackets and the nuts and bolts that come in the, in the bag with the shower curtain. So it's pretty simple. It's really, really easy to do. So my roof rack's got little holes in here so I can add these kind of attachments and brackets. So that just slides up and through, she says confidently. Oh, and again, third time lucky. So that slides up and through. So that's one. Then I'm gonna put another one through. I'm do two bolts. Two, can't do it one-handed. So like so. And then obviously the curtain's gonna bolt into the back of that bracket there so let me just put all of these on I'm gonna fix those now and then I can put the shower curtain on after but I need to free up my hands to do this okay so I have pretty much got all of my brackets lined up now it took a while just to fill around with a few of the adjustments the distance of coming out obviously the depth of the bracket coming out um, also as well I needed the tent to come back a bit so obviously we could still get access to the ladder getting up and down so this is the best kind of setup I could come up with that was probably the most comfortable and usable for everything so for access for the tent for access to the back door to the light for the tent to actually flip out so this was really kind of the best setup that I could do and it took me a little while just to figure out how many brackets I could use the length of screws yeah it was a bit of a brainstorm and a bit of a retrofitting with this but it's fine because we are now, I'm now just finishing up now, I'm just literally tightening up the bolts so we can then pull the car forwards and then I'm just going to get all the tents out for you guys to see what it's like at the end. Okay, so one bolt in, slide it up, second bolt through, slide it up, just going to bolt one and two like so.
Right. That's both brackets fixed on, so I'm just going to bolt that onto there now. Another two more additional arms that fold out. So one and two, like so. And I'm going to fit this one in. Extend that right out. So these poles extend. And I'm just going to put it there just for the moment. So I've got to come back to this. And then of course it's got a ribbed end on it that goes through the end and you just feed that all the way through. Like so. So we've got the awning set up now. So yeah, it's really simple to put up. Also, pop the tent up too. So really, really simple, literally just a case of velcroing these onto the poles. Same again with that one. And they do come with guide ropes as well. I, I haven't put them on, but they do also come with guide ropes as well. So that's the direct 4x4 four four panel, which again is supposed to come out on an angle as it is. Chose that specifically, just so it's easy to get access in and out. Yeah, so pretty tough with that. So let's head over and now get the shower curtain put up and then of course we've got the new shower cubicle so it took me a while just to get those brackets fitted but they're all nicely tightened up now so shower cubicle let's go swan the one again you've got two velcro straps inside here and just about reach that's one second strap and that rolls out like so and then what I like about it is it's on you've got the two arms that literally just swing right open and there's a second arm inside and then the bottom of these there's actually plinths inside them just to keep it weighted down so you can also as well there's also straps at the bottom if you want to peg the base of it down as well you can tighten these up to adjust the heights on them which is very very cool and then of course i will take you around and up above And then coming up from the aerial view of the cubicle so you've got these two hinges that pop out like so and then again on the other side so there's your hinges and that is your shower curtain opened up and it's quite cool as well because you've got these again little wallets either side so put anything in those your shampoo conditioner but of course the main reason why we did all of this was that I had to I've got a front runner shower arm and I had to retrofit the bracket because normally that bracket would actually sit under where the tent is but then it just wouldn't fit because that would be in the way so my shower arm now fitted into the bracket so that just hooks in and over the top and then we extend that out and then last but not least I have my shower bag the shower bag attachments so that just hooks onto 
the end like so. Then we have shower cubicle. Let's go and test it out. Right, and then of course shower cubicle or just cubicle in general. So, I'll hold that open. So this is, yeah, the, uh, the cubicle itself. There's actually also two zips here for a window. It's got a window there also. Zip that up. And then of course the uh, the shower itself. So you have a fully functioning shower. So undo that. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Well, that's a bit cold to uh, in there now. <laughs> And then I thought I'd add this on here as well. So I recently just bought a new side tent for the Land Rover. It's an outhouse tent and it's pretty simple to fit in and it's big enough that we can fit two to those beds in as well. That's a really easy tent to fit on. So it literally just clips all the way along onto the roof rack and then it's got an additional separate inner lining and then just peg it all down. So I've got concrete under this grass. So it was really peg all the way down, unfortunately. But not a bad addition. If you've got family or more friends to go camping with you. And there you have it. So that is all of the accessories now fitted to the car. So the new shower rail, shower curtain, awning and the side tent. So all really, really simple to do. And yeah, I literally just cannot wait now to actually get out and try all of this stuff. So all in good time. But Thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and we'll catch you guys really, really soon. Take care. See ya.